All right, so this uh, video is about how you can trust your Salesforce One mobile apps just using your Chrome browser. So coming up to the development environment, so it's basically the normal Chrome browser and uh, it's having the mobile emulation panel open, which you can learn more about uh, from this uh, official Google Chrome page and Google about this thing, which uh, explains you clearly how to do mobile emulation and try out different things. And don't worry, I will share this link with my blog also. Apart from that, uh, I think I'm uh, using a developer build of Chrome, which is uh, Chrome Canary, which is a bit ahead of the production Chrome in terms of features. So like this thing, network throttling, this easy toggle button to switch on and off of mobile and desktop mode is only available in Canary as of now. So I highly recommend you download it. So. Once you have done that uh, and you are here, so let's see what this mobile emulation panel is giving us. So if you see here, or even the same thing is available here also, we can quickly switch between the device types. So for example, if I want to test it on tablets, or I want to test it on iPhone 4 or 5, I can quickly do it from here on. So let's stay on iPhone 5 and let's see what else we got. So if you go to sensors here, which is available in production Chrome also, you see like if you want to emulate your geolocation, for example, fake a geolocation, for example, you are in India and you want to test uh, uh, the app against uh, accounts in Germany. So you can get a let long for the Germany location and try it out here. And similarly, accelerometer can be tried, which we'll see in a while. So before that, uh, let's see what else we have. So we have this network throttling option, which I really like. So the best part about it is you can test uh, close to the real world network connections, which are mostly GPRS, even if they claim it 3G, to see how the app is behaving. For example, if I change it to GPRS and I try switching stuff, it might take a little bit extra time because it's a remoting call, it is too fast. But if you see on no throttling, it is extremely fast. Other things which I, I can try is offline mode uh, here. Let me switch to offline and see what happens. So idly app should gracefully fail. So it is giving a pop-up alert and saying there is no network connection, which is fine. So now let's restore the connection back to GPRS and see if the app starts behaving fine. Okay, it's back. So now let's see how our views are loading on GPRS. So here if you see there is a bit of delay. I should have shown a spinner before the places are loading up. And same is when it coming here. So it takes a while to show up on GPRS. This is really important because on Wi-Fi you will see these pages coming in flash without uh, I think uh, any delay or even faster than a blink of eye. But on GPRS it is certainly slow. So that's a real good input and in case your app is really fancy and you're supporting accelerometer like this uh, demo on HTML5 rocks, you can try it out. For example, let me try it reverse, uh, let's say 90 degree orientation. So luckily the JavaScript API is having methods to access that and you can try tilting and various different cool things here like this. So it's all up to you how much fancy you want to go, but you, the good thing is you can easily test the uh, accelerometer also without uh, uh, needing a device from here. Hope this video helps uh, uh, in testing your S1 apps. Thanks for watching.